so here I have connect the sensor the temperature sensors with, uh, with the liquid board so as you see before that I have already uploaded the code so the connection so the pin diagram is according to the according to the according to the pin diagram of, of the media tag so this is the since the temperature sensor uses IIC communication so so you connect SDA and SCL pin so the SDA SCL pin is a D3 and D2 so you connect the SDA and SCL pin of the sensor of the sensor to the D2 and D3 and power of this sensor using 3.3 volt because this this requires this requires 3.3 volt is best but if you want you can also use 5 volt because the tolerance of this sensor is 5 volt please always check the data sheet of the sensor before connecting it to the board so this is the sensor that I connected to the board and I have already uploaded the flash of the firmware flash the firmware in the board so as a result I am able to now you see this is my thinger.io id so this is this is thinger.io and you see the device is connected you see my device is connected so if I click this device so you can create the device using using add device this button you can click it here and do some stuff and you will get the username the device credential your credential that means that I place on thinger.io to use your token actually and you can see the device is connected so we can now check the if you click it you see the device is online and it transmit receive data from the device so how can you check the data so if you go to the view api and you can see since we transmit only one time one one parameter only temperature you can see the temperature is 25 so if you check temperature is 25 point eight, okay if i move the sensor for a while and now temperature is you see the temperature is changing so it transmits the real time data from from the temperature sensor to the cloud thing and drive cloud now let's check how I can show build a dashboard so let's click dashboard then click add dashboard you can give the give it so the link it link it so place the ID link it dash link it dashboard oh no that doesn't support so link it just link it is better link it it's free link it and then name of the dashboard is now temperature temperature and it can add some description this is optional so add dashboard okay so temperature dashboard dash okay add it now then go to the dashboard you can see link it dashboard click here in the name of the dashboard is temperature now you need to add the widget So enable this, enable this bar otherwise you cannot be unable to add the widget. So then you are going to add a widget, click add widget and then what type of data you are transmitting actually the so donut chart. So this way is in the donut chart, this is the title the title temperature so the value source now you can select the source value 
from device so it comes from the device and select the device so your device is active device and select the resource so you can see everything is touched. just click and add so refresh mode so you can refresh it mm, refresh it using Uh, using interval so all the time after one second it's going to be refreshed so just using the seconds so you can refresh it in every second so one second refresh and then save so now you can see the dashboard is there you see the real time boat temperature is moving So you see, temperature is increasing. So that's all. How to build complete IoT dashboard. The data comes from sensors to the cloud. Now, in the next video, I will show you how to how to use this data. Actually, from data comes from this data on my mobile application this is very simple it just uh, actually it, this is the, the method that I use this one you can see so the, the, this is the this is the you can see this is the this is the simple get request so if I send this request from my device I can and it gives me the the, the data the data every time so I going to use use this API to transmit to steam the data on mobile phone uh, and show them using using nice user inter interface so, so let's go for next one